So let's speak a little bit on density, specific gravity, and specific weight. So density, by definition, is the amount of mass that occupies a unit volume. So for example, if I have one kilogram that occupies one cubic meter, I will have one kilogram per cubic meter. And it, ha it helps me know how much amount of mass I have per unit volume. Uh, probably you know or if you don't know, the more, the lightest uh, fluid will go always up. This is density will be lower, and this is the very dense fluid. This density is very high, which means this is many mass per unit volume, and this is a little bit mass per unit volume. The units we use in system and in international system is kilogram per cubic meter. Even though we could use grams per cubic centimeter or even milliliter, whatever you want to use. And in the English units, we use pound per cubic feet. Now, why do we uh, care about this? Because for incompressible flow, density is actually dependent on temperature. So for liquids, this is dependent on temperature. But since the change is so small, for example, I could have at zero degrees of water, almost 1,000, and 90, 90, zero, at 100 Celsius. Actually, it's a drop of 10%, uh, 1%, so you don't actually need to calculate for that. You could, and if you are using a spreadsheet, it will be recommended, but actually I will say that you could use a constant value of 1,000 which is the typical value we will be using for water density. So use a constant value. Now, <clears throat> we have this concept which is specific gravity. It's essentially the ratio, so it's important, it's a ratio, so expect known numbers or units of the density of a substance, any substance, versus the density of any other substances and we call these reference substances. And it sounds kind of crazy, but actually it is not. For example, when we use water, let's say if I tell you specific gravity of this fluid is about 0 0.8, what does that mean? That means that the specific gravity of this fluid was measured the density of the fluid divided by the density of the water. Since the density of water, I told you before, is 1000, we can actually solve for the density here. Okay, equals to 0 0.8. So if you pass this right here, you will see that actually the density of the fluid was 800 kilograms per cubic meters. So it's a very interesting way to say a density. That's for fluids uh, in liquid condition. For example, if you want to use ga gases, you will need to find the one of the air, which is about 1.18 kilograms per cubic meter. For example, you have the specific gravity of gasoline, which is 0.78 with respect to water. What is the density of gasoline? So density of water, 1,000. Density of gasoline, by definition, is the density of water times the specific gravity, which is this number right here. And you will see that you have a 780 kilograms per cubic meter. Now that was a specific gravity, this time is a specific weight. I don't actually recommend it, I don't like to use it that much, but it is very used in fluid mechanics. It's the weight per unit volume of material. So now, as before, mass per volume. If you multiply by gravity, you will have weight per volume. The specific weight is this crazy gamma, Greek letter, we use that symbol. And we usually use water at 5 Celsius degrees, which is about 9.807 kilonewtons per cubic meter. Or if you use the British system, it will be 62.43 pound force, this F is very important, right here, per cubic feet. And that was essentially everything I wanted to show you with respect of density and specific gravity and weight. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the 
link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here if you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here centrifugal pumps which is a very important topic in this course you have it right here